Well, everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that haven't been here before, I am Tony Fast. I farm in Montana with my dad and a hired man named Tim. He's in these videos a lot. Dad's gone for the winter, so you won't see him until... Actually, you might see him next week. They're coming home for uh, an early Christmas, so... Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, Tim and I got oil changed, transmission and engine oil and the filter in this tractor already. It needs to be greased and vacuumed out, and we're gonna hook it back up to the air drill and move it over to the new shed. If you guys uh, haven't seen, we're building a new uh, machine storage over that way at one of our farm yards. So it's big enough to get our air drill in it and a few other things. So uh, we'll get that moved over there while the roads are clear and everything, the weather's nice and warm today, should go good. Now that I said that, it probably won't. It, uh, let's hope it goes good. Well, we're all hooked up here. Just gonna do a walk around, make sure all the tires are good. Nothing dragging. Should I put my jogging clothes on for this? It's a long ways around this thing. It's a transport. Well, it's a long ways around in bullet time. I need to uh, build a drip edge over that. That would be very useful, very helpful. So the water doesn't all run in there. Maybe later I'll do that. Looks good. Let's hit the road. Well, it's here, and Amy said that it looks small compared to the shed now. I'm thinking she's right. Well, remember how I said it's gonna go smooth today? Well, it did until we came home, and I realized I brushed the guardrail on the bridge with the cart tire and knocked the guardrail off the bridge. But I did talk to the road grader guy. He gonna take care of it, talk to the county about it. I don't really know what's in it for me now. What to pay for that? I don't know. Anyways, nice day out. I'm gonna get this uh, combine fired up. Maybe we should look in the grain tank first, see how much snow is in it. Well, a couple of weeks, ooh, found a hole. Yeah, it looks like it all melted. Good deal. Well, that was easy, it fired right up. Just let it warm up and uh, we'll put it in the shed. I'm pulling the header around so that the sun can melt off the draper belts. They got a little snow left on them yet. I'm just telling you to blow that off and uh, put the end dividers on since we took those off for uh, cutting the corn. So, little side by side's getting a workout. A little hard in the snow to get it moving.
if I can say I've driven a combine in November before. Yeah, I guess we did cut corn a few years ago. I got by a corn around Thanksgiving time. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. It's a couple days after the fact. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, like I said, it is Thanksgiving weekend and I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. And I'd say this year we are especially thankful for our grandparents that uh, we got to grow up around. Uh, Amy and I, this last week, uh, actually both lost a grandparent on each of our sides. Uh, I lost my grandpa a week ago. Um, he had dementia and Alzheimer's for lots of years and it was a real blessing for him to finally pass away. No quality of life living like that. I. I really wish he hadn't held on as long as he had. And Amy's grandma just passed away yesterday. Both of them were godly, very godly examples in our lives. And uh, just really thankful that we had them in our life. It is just a gorgeous day out. You wanna see how windy? Take a couple of butcher cows in. To the butcher, they like banana boxes for hauling, hauling beef home, so got a few of those for them. Things didn't exactly go as planned yesterday. Came over here to uh, check the bin that uh, Tim had moved canola. That was nice and cooled off. It was fine, it's dry now. Down below like seven and a half to nine. But that bin, too many bushels for a blade style fan. And it got hot. So all the canola's on the ground. I got a buddy that's gonna use it in his feedlot. So not a complete waste, but kind of expensive waste, that's for sure. About 6,000 bushels there, we got about 2,000 bushels moved into a bin, and then it started getting really hot. So we we quit moving it, started dumping it on the ground. Yeah, guess you win some, you lose some. Are you a little surprised when it had the bank catch on fire? Yeah, that should have been glowing. I honestly am surprised we didn't see sparks coming out of the bottom of that bin last night. Yeah, I was breaking up the big black chunks thinking that I'd see embers growing in them for sure, but that was ugly. I never saw any ash, but the uh, chaff and grasshoppers are definitely charred. Yes. Yes, they're uh, roasted grasshoppers. Roasted now. grasshoppers. Dehydrated and roasted. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> yeah, I'm, ready for a, night. I'm ready for a nap. I didn't sleep much last night yeah. after worrying about this all night. At least we caught it before it got worse. We'll give you guys a little shed update here. They got the lamb beam set this week on both sides for the 24 foot bifolds. Um, sheeting all the walls. They've been fighting wind. It has been miserable. 20, 30 mile an hour winds the last two days. So they're just kind of doing fiddly whatever they can get done right now. Doing small stuff. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Maybe tomorrow the wind will be down enough that they'll be able to start setting rafters again. And then once the rafters are up, get the sheet. Oh, I got a rock and a break, so that sounds awesome. Once the uh, sheeting is all up on the roof, they can start tinning. And then once that's uh, 
don't know if the bifolds go on next or what. But the lamb beam is up. Pretty exciting. What do you think? I'm excited. It's big, huh? Yeah, way bigger than you think. You gonna try and steal it and make it your horse riding arena? Yep. <laughs> Well, Amy and I just got back last night from Omaha. We've been gone for a total of two weeks now since we left the farm last. We had the canola binget hawk, got that all cleared out. We had a neighbor come clean up some of the really heated, heat damaged stuff. He's gonna feed that in his feedlot, so that's taken care of. Um, we went back to Nebraska for Amy's grandma's funeral, drove home, and then a day later, Amy and I flew back to Omaha, Nebraska. I think I've been in Nebraska, what, four times in September now? Yeah. It's been crazy. Lots of Nebraska time. But we're going to head to town today. we got more things to take care of. Just got really busy all of a sudden. But we're going to go stop by the shed and see how much progress they've made since I've been gone. And uh, see where they're at with that. Whoa. There's, there's a lot of tin on it. <laughs> and a door frame. It's a building. It is a building. <laughs> is that like a box? Not just a wood park anymore? No, you're just gonna get stuck in this. Probably like get stuck in this year. snow drift. <laughs> every year. Your door's up. Yeah. Cool. It's great. Well, it's a temperature of 20 degrees. Oh, that's probably, they're probably a lot of in this weather. <laughs> well, they are cruising along with wall tin. The wainscoting in the bottom is gonna be charcoal gray. And then they got the one bifold hung yesterday. So we're gonna actually end up doing the tinning on that? You said to help put tin on the door? No. It's too old. <laughs> well, Maybe not today. When you want it to be 45, you said? 45 degrees warmer. Oh. You start working, you'll stay warm. So, we're going to head to town, but I just want to show you guys how this is all coming along. Well, good morning. Well, we loaded up the skid steer, got the windshield covered, airing up tires. What year did you buy that trailer, Dad? Like 98? Tires are like 20 some years old. I think this is the first time I've ever aired them up. They last forever. Can't buy tires like that anymore. Good old Bridgestones. But we're gonna head over and get that canola cleaned up off the ground because next week we've got a pretty good chance of snow coming. So we wanna get that up off the ground. The rest of it I think is salvageable. We'll screen any rocks out. Got an old screen that maybe is off the neighbor's gleaner combine from eons ago, I don't know what that's from for sure. Someone will probably recognize that. But we're gonna load it into a truck. Hopefully we can set up so we have the truck parked over the auger. One of us can just start dumping into the auger, into the truck, screen out of the bottom of the truck, into the swing away, into the bin, get it on air, and you can make sure it's cooled off. We'll probably wait, run a fan for the, a while, and then move it to another bin, just make sure it's all stirred up and good and dry and cold. So. This is a lot of fun. And I, I did talk to AGI at the Farmers Business Network, Farmer to Farmer Conference, about temperature cables. So don't worry about commenting about that down below. It, it's, it's been thought about. Well, here's the canola we're gonna clean up. I'm guessing it's probably two semi loads worth. We gotta dig out some of the snow yet as we're going, but we're gonna set the auger up onto the bin that has the hot stuff out of there that wasn't as hot that we went into there first the other day. So that stuff we just checked it, took out, I don't know, 100 bushels out of the bottom just to core it to see. There's only like 1,500 bushels in there total anyways. So that bin seems plenty cool, cold to the touch, it's cold as snow on the ground. So that is cooled off with the fan. We're gonna run, run through a screen so we don't get any rocks from the ground into that bin and then run the fans for a week or so as long as it's not snowing. You can tell this stuff's still brown. That didn't get heated up too bad, but this over here, this is stuff that was really hot. That's the stuff that they're feeding to the cattle up to the feedlot. This stuff, I think is gonna be all right, yeah. We still got heat damage in it, but I think it's still worth some money, so. We'll rotate bins here in another day or so make sure we got everything nice and cool and uh, just get a good sample and see how it tests for uh, heat damage. Well there we go it's all cleaned up. Got the last of the nasty stuff on that truck so we can go 
to the feedlot. It's like the deer and pheasants are going to eat just fine the rest of the winter over here. Well, you yeah, animal rights activists, you're welcome for feeding your pets. But yeah, we'll load up the skid steer and head home. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video.